Hi everyone, I'm Bea Alcalde from P2A, group number 7, and I'm here to discuss with you the introduction of experiment 2, the word association. The word association experiment consists of a list of 100 words to which one is asked to give an immediate association. In this experiment, the researchers present a series of words where it has an individual response. The person conducting the experiment measures the delay in response using a stopwatch. Stated by APA 2020, the word association test or the WAT is a test where the participant responds to a stimulus word that associates the first word that comes to the mind. Through this experiment, the researchers will determine which type of association test, whether the free association or the partially controlled association test, will elicit a shorter or more reaction time and that which will elicit a few or more response words and also factors that the subjects may affect while doing the experiment. And for the results, here is Mr. and Hinko to talk more about it. Let's take a look at the first table. During the first set of the experiment, the subject was given 60 stimulus words where the participant was able to get the fastest reaction time of one second each for the words middle, justice, and organ. On the other hand, the table also shows that the participant took 9.13 seconds to respond to the word deceit. This is the slowest. Result for this, results for this set shows that all the reaction time amount to 248.35 seconds, having the mean reaction time of 4.14 seconds. For the next set, the participant was given 15 stimulus words. However, only the last five words were used to get the mean reaction time. For the fastest reaction time, it took the participant 2.30 seconds to react to the word happy and 9.13 seconds, which is the slowest, to react to the word negro. 27 and 17 words were written respectively, having the mean time of 4.28 seconds. Moving on to the third set, the participant was asked to say the word that comes to mind after hearing each stimulus word. The participant was able to elicit 95 words while having the mean reaction time of 1.80 seconds. This is a chain word association where the participant will think of a related word for each elicited word. For the last set, table 4, the participant was asked to state the synonym of each of the 20 stimulus words. The fastest reaction time is 1.98 seconds was given to the word happy, which was associated to joy, and 13.57 seconds for the words angel, which was associated to the word god. The total reaction time is 99.99 seconds. With a mean, with a mean time of one point sixty seven seconds. Finally, for the fifth and final table, it shows that the sets were divided into two. For set one and two, it is pre association test, and for the set three and four, it is partially controlled continuous association test. To discuss this, we are to answer. This question, which type of the association test will elicit a shorter reaction time, the free association test or the partially controlled association test? With the use of different types of association tests, the amount of time the subject takes to respond is measured. Freud claimed that these responses offered explanation for the participant's personality. In a free association test, the subject is asked to state the first word that comes to mind as response to the given stimulus words. For the partially controlled association test, the participant is asked to think of a word that relates to the given stimuli. Based on the gathered data, the partially controlled tests depicts a shorter reaction time compared to the free association tests. As stated by trainer, it is a longer process for, the, for people to determine what word to respond than to write the first word that comes to mind after the stimulus word. 
To discuss further, we have Mr. Likwanan on the other line. Um, Mr. Likwanan? Thank you, Mr. Ed. The first set is a free association word test consisting of 60 stimulus words. The time at which the subject mentioned the first word is recorded. The total time acquired in this set is summed up and divided by 60 with a mean of 4.14 or 4.1 seconds. Also, the second set is a free association test consisting of 15 stimulus words. The subject is given a piece of paper to write down words which she associates with each of the different stimulus words given by the experimenter for a span of two minutes. These five stimulus words has an overall law of 115 words written by the subject. The sum of the reaction time for the second set was 21.4 seconds, and it was divided by five stimulus words that has a mean of 4.3 or 4.28 seconds. While the third set is a partially controlled continuous associated test that consists of five stimulus words, the subject is asked to think of a word that, re that relates to the first stimulus term. And then, upon saying the word, the subject will think of another similar, similar word that chain the last word that was mentioned. Every word stated is recorded, as well as the time that the Subjects first mentioned the word. The total sum of reaction time in, third, in the third set was 9.02, divided by 5 stimulus words that had an overall of 95 words, with having a mean of 1.8 seconds. Lastly, the partially controlled test consists of 20 stimulus words. The subject is instructed to give the synonyms of each of the stimulus words. Given 2 minutes per word, the experimenter jotted down notes on what were the synonyms of the said word that the subject indicated. And the reaction time was recorded with the cumulative time gained in the fourth set, and, is, and it is summed up to 99.99 and divided by 20 to get the mean of 1.67 or 1.7 seconds. Number 2. Which type of association test will elicit more response words? The free association test or the partially controlled association test. Moreover, in finding the result of this experiment, some words are repeated due to the associated words that were mentioned in different sets. And also, it is difficult to understand the meaning where the subjects take a little more time to respond to the given stimulus words. Aras, the archival research in archetypal symbolism, indicated that if a stimulus word reaches such a complex or no answers occur to the subject at all, and are so many things crowd into its mind that it does not know what answer to give, it, autom it automatically repeats the stimulus words. Such characteristics explicitly show the attributes of the autonomous complex. It induces a disruption in the readiness to respond, either delays the response or induces an, un an unnecessary delay. Since the free association test was first performed, and when the partially controlled association test was being conducted, a few words were already familiar to the subject. That is why the subject elicited more response words during the partially controlled association test. Thank you, Mr. Jamil Ekwanan. And for the conclusion, the word association experiment is not an only an exercise to test the respondent's vocabulary. It also seeks to find out the hidden reason why the respondent has thought of the word after hearing each stimulus word. It hence it is the big situation, uh, experiences and also our emotional link that made them associate the response word to the esteem line. In order to avoid the second thoughts, the respondent was requested to voice out the first word that comes to their mind and it also has no right or wrong answer which has also the experimenter will not be judged the answers of the respondents to have a genuine response. And establishing a strong report additionally increase the likelihood of the participant to participate accordingly. After this experiment, the experimenter were able to inquire the reasons behind the repetitive responses and it was associated the participant's experiences. Although this experiment is time-consuming, the experiment 
It's an effective way to help the participant to communicate their unconscious and subconscious thoughts. Thank you. And for recommendation, here is Jamie Villian. Thank you, Ashley. Today, we were able to gather different suggestions and recommendations from the netizens. One of them suggested that there should not be multiple relationship between the experimenter and the participants. The second one said that as psych majors or researchers, the experiment should be done professionally. The third one suggested that, if possible, the experiment should be done in the therapy room where there are no noise or distractions that can divert the attention of the participants. Fourth, the experiment is best done with one participant at a time. Through this, the experimenters will be able to monitor and observe the participant meticulously. Fourth, if the experiment requires many participants, each participant still should have their own time. That is all for today. Keep safe everyone and God bless.